In this lecture, we're going to talk about survey research. The survey is a very frequently used method of measurement in social research. In almost every field of the social sciences, from economics all the way to the field of communication, we use surveys very often. Generally, when we use surveys, we use them in the form of questionnaires or we use them in interviews where we ask people questions out of that survey instrument. Different types of surveys, and there are many different types of questionnaires and interviews depending on how they are administered. Uh, generally, questionnaires are administered either by mail, or they are group administered, or they are dropped off at households. More recently, we also have email-based questionnaires and web-based questionnaires. What's unique about all of these, and the reason they are grouped together, is that individuals respond to these surveys by themselves. The second types of surveys are what we consider interviews, where there is somebody reading the questions out to individuals. This could be face-to-face -face on a personal interview basis. This could be in a focus group where there is a group of people who you're reading out the questions to. Or this could be a telephone-based interview where someone's calling you and asking you the questions that are in front of them. Generally, when it comes to selecting the survey method, uh, there are a number of things that we uh, look to see which decides which method we utilize. One of them, beginning up at the top of the grid, is population issues. First question is, is the population accessible? Is the population literate? Is the population able to speak in the language in which you're administering it? Are they using a different language? This will define whether or not you're going to use a self-report questionnaire or you're going to do an interview and who you're going to use for the interviewer. Uh, accessibility in this case means, you know, can you reach these people? Do they have email in order for you to use an email survey? Uh, or if it's a, a written survey that they have to respond to, are they literate enough to be able to respond to it? Following this are sampling issues. Now, sampling issues involve issues of response rates. Um, more recently, because of technology, Many people have um, no telephones, no home telephones, or cell phone only. Uh, some people, uh, you know, have multiple email addresses. Many of these creates response rate problems, which, uh, you know, define the methodology, the survey methodology that you're going to utilize. Also, we have to consider some question issues. What are the types of questions we're going to ask? How elaborate are these questions? How long are these questions? Uh, content issues. Uh, and again, how are these questions worded? Are they personal? Are they questions that uh, people can answer? Are they so technical that they won't be able to answer? Um, we're going to deal with some of these in a later uh, lecture. But these are all issues which influence the selection of the survey method. There are also bias issues. That is, uh, bias can be in the form of social desirability. And as you know, social desirability and bias uh, influences uh, the average, so it creates what's called a systematic error. Uh, so are there bias issues? So social desirability could be when people are asked a question and they give you the answer that they think is the right answer that everybody is expecting them to give. This issue reduces the quality of the survey. And in this case, you can't do a face-to-face -face survey. You can't do a telephone survey. You want to probably do something that's self-report or um, in a questionnaire uh, that's dropped off perhaps at home and it's kept anonymous. Finally, you have administrative issues, and these administrative issues can be everything from do you have the facility to do, let's say, a telephone survey? Uh, do you have an email survey mechanism to send out email surveys if that's your method? Uh, and do you have the money to do it? In other words, do you have the money to do a mail survey, a drop-off, a focus group, or a telephone survey? All of these together influence the selection of the method that you ultimately use in your study.